Rahim, Assalamu alaikum ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the program 114 dialogue with Quran. Today we are going to discuss Surah Ibrahim. Ibrahim is name of a great prophet of Allah Almighty. He is also called as Abraham. He was the great worshipper of Allah Almighty. He is also called as father of the prophets, Jaddul Ambiya. He had two sons, Hazrat Ismail Islam and Hazrat Ishaq Islam. Several prophets of Allah Almighty came from his generation. In his life, he had to face many ordeals and dangerous situations, but he was successful in all the trials of life. He was successful in all the trials of his life. He had to do migration, he had to face the cruel actions of Namrud who also threw him into the fire and Allah Almighty saved him. Ya narukuni bardam wa salamun ala Ibrahim. After that, he migrated from that area. He was sheltered in Iraq and later on he accommodated his beloved son, Hazrat Ismail Islam in the holy city that is called Mecca and with the assistance of Hazrat Ismail Islam, he also constructed the house of Allah Kaabatullah Dunya ke but kadom mein pehla bugar khuda ka hum uske paas baan hai wo paas baan hamara and Ibrahim Islam and Ismail Islam they made so many supplications and prayers to Allah Almighty. This surah has highlighted great character of Hazrat Ibrahim Islam. Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu was also advised لَقَدْ كَانَتْ لَكُمْ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنَةٌ فِي Ibrahim. The life of Hazrat Ibrahim Islam is a glaring example for you to follow. And he was also advised, Wattabiu Millata Ibrahim Hanifa, you must follow the biography, the life, the style of Hazrat Ibrahim Salam that is on the very right and straight path. And Watta Khizu Mim Mukami Ibrahim Musalla, and you must say your prayers from the place of Hazrat Ibrahim Salam. This surah is a Makki Surah and it consists of seven Rakus and 52 verses. The main topics and subjects of this Surah, number one is prayers of Hazrat Ibrahim salam. This Surah has mentioned different prayers. When Hazrat Ibrahim salam and Ismail salam they got the house of Allah constructed and they made requests to Allah Almighty. O oh Allah, send your favorite prophet in this area and send so many pilgrims for the pilgrimage of this holy house of Allah Almighty. O oh Allah, provide all humanity's life all the necessities of life to all the dwellers of this city. 
actually there was no one that time but all the prayers of hazrat ibrahim alaihi salam they were fruitful they were recognized and acknowledged and accepted by allah almighty second main topic of this sura is evil designs of the non believers this sura has also highlighted the different conspiracy and machinations and intrigues and enmity of the non believers they gave very tough time to hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and all of his followers and companions so hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and his companions were pacified and they were consoled with the biography of hazrat ibrahim alaihi salam he had also to face many troubles and problems but he was steadfast as a result he was successful so it was advised to the followers of islam they should also be strengthened united and they must put their strong faith on allah almighty on oneness of allah almighty on the help and assistance of allah almighty if ibrahim alaihi salam was successful you will also be successful another topic is warning to the non believers this sura has warned all the non believers and infidels and enemies of islam that if they did not mend their ways they did not use their mind they were not rational and sainful and wise enough to follow the teachings of islam they would be devastated they would be destructed they would go to dogs as the, all the enemies of hazrat ibrahim alaihi salam they could never be succeeded they had to lick the dust another topic is again prayers for allah's mercy this sura has highlighted the prayers rabbana hablana min azwajina wa zurriyatina qurrata ayun waj'alna lil muttaqina imama and just like other prayers for the mercy of allah almighty it has pointed out that we should always seek protection and security with allah almighty if allah almighty is our helper he is our sustainer and we put our strong faith on allah almighty we are always successful we are always triumphant and we will get fruit all of all of efforts and services not only in, in this world but also in the hereafter thanks to nice sir